Arirang Radio. It's time to tune in and discover the best of K-pop and Korean culture on Radio News. Welcome back to the second half of the show. We're going to throw a soft selection battle between these two sentimental artists, yes. Sumin and Jay Cha. Welcome to both of you. Welcome. Oh. Hello. Hello. All right. First off, say hi to the listeners. Who are you guys? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Uh, <laughs> hello, everybody. My name is Jay Chang. I'm a singer songwriter as well as yeah. a member of One Pact. It's good to be back. Okay. And who are you, Hi sir? Hi, guys. I am artist Jung Soo Min. Jung Soo Min, nice to meet you. Woo. You are fully aware of the fact that you have a pen on your ear, right? <laughs> okay, so it was it intentional. It wasn't a heart. Okay, <laughs> anyway, how's life, guys? Man, busy. Busy, yeah. 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 Busy doing what, though? Working on my next album. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Saw that on your Vivo, by the way. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Maybe coming out soon. And mm. you let the uh, viewers take a listen to the upcoming track. I oh believe. yeah, I yeah. did. I what's did. A, what's the song about? Uh, it's a song. Did I did I say the title in the vlog? I don't think you did. Okay. I assume that you didn't. But yeah. Um. It's it's a song. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's a song about. It's a song about something. Oh, <laughs> you will find out man. shortly. Okay. Oh. No what about you, Jay? Anything special coming up soon? Um, yes. In yeah. two days, the uh, build-up final will be happening. Good for and, you. Uh, yeah. Can I ask you about the result here? No, right? Uh, the result? <laughs> I mean, well... <sighs> Congratulations. Good luck. Final. That, <laughs> sounds, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's okay. You will be there, too. <laughs> that Yay. sounds amazing. Yeah. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be there watching, you know? Whenever uh. Jay looks at me, I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try not to look so that okay. I don't uh, end up laughing. Anyway, we have a special news to share with the uh, fans of you guys that uh, you guys are going to be taking over the show next oh. week temporarily. Jay Ooh. on Wednesday, Sumin on Thursday. <laughs> yes. So uh, are you guys looking forward to it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm really excited yeah. to be able to like host something like mm -hmm. this for the first time. Okay. Um, a lot to learn. So. Okay. Mm. What are you curious about? I'm definitely I'm curious about how to... like. I think the timing about of things, like when to mm -hmm. stay, mm -hmm. how much time to spend on one segment, when mm -hmm. to move on to the next, that's definitely like... Take some time to get used to it, but mm -hmm. the thing is, since it's only a one-time DJ thing, I suggest you to just keep on going until our producer tell us to just stop right there okay. and move on to another mm -hmm. song. Right? Okay, okay. All right. And uh, depending on style, there must be like a different topic we can talk about on this show, but what kind of person are you as a DJ? Oh, what kind what of kind person? What kind of thing do you I? love to talk um, Me, I tend to focus more on the realistic side, uh, mm. talking about life and mm. what's going on. But what mm. about you? What kind of thing do you enjoy? I yeah. have no idea, but I feel yeah. like I would be a little bit more of a, like, I feel like I would be telling a lot of jokes. Okay, mm. good, good, <laughs> good. Thank you so much. What about you, Sum? Um, You know, it's my first time DJing, mm -hmm. too. But yeah. I think I would... I get sidetracked a lot. Mm. Ah, I'd be like, we'd be talking about like one thing, like, hey, what song are you gonna release? And then I'd be like, oh, by the way, what'd you have for dinner, bro? But that's the charm <laughs> of you, actually. I mean, yeah, that's a good I'm, thing. I'm super spontaneous. But uh, it's gonna be a little harder on Thursday because you not only have to act as a DJ that day, but you also have to interview an artist wow. too. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I thought you were doing the same thing. So he's gonna be doing this segment while you're gonna be hosting a different segment that day. Do do. Oh, uh -huh. dun, dun, dun. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> but, no, but you're interviewing somebody too, technically, then, right? Because yeah. he's going to be sitting here and he's yeah. going to well, be interviewing. Well, not interviewing. I'm just, you know. I mean, he's basically conducting this mm. segment. Yeah, I mean, we're all conducting. Mm. You ever interviewed anyone in your life before? Um, yeah. Okay. I interviewed Jay School last project. week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> How long was it? Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, okay. I interviewed him for like 30 seconds. Oh, and he was like, 30 seconds? Well, you yeah. might have to do a little bit longer. He All beat right. this to my favorite game. Uh, yeah. said Fortnite, you mean, all right? Oh, my God. <laughs> the <laughs> game that starts in the letter F. <laughs> I mean, I was never a fan of that game, too. So. What? Oh, yes. I mean, I don't understand people who enjoy that game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Maybe next week you'll find someone that likes Fortnite. No. Good luck Why? with that. Why <laughs> that should be one of your interview questions. <sighs> Anyway, uh, from what I know, you went on live streaming yesterday, Sumin, and oh, a yeah. fan told you that you look like a baby, but you denied it. Why Listen, did you deny it? Guys, <laughs> I will explain this in Korean and in English. Okay. I am not a baby, okay? Because 
I'm almost 20 years old now. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and... <laughs> Good for you know. turning oh. 20. You're saying that in front of your <laughs> samchon. <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm an orun now. Yeah. yeah. I should be treated like an orun now. You know. Maybe that person was just complimenting on your on your appearance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, your your age gap with whoever calls you a baby will be the same now as yeah. it will be mm-hmm. in a few years from now. So. <laughs> well, Jay, how would you react if you received such comment from a fan? Well, you know what? I used to be exactly like Suman and deflect it, but now I open it with welcome <laughs> arms. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you so you much for <laughs> taking the job next week. And uh, before we move on to explain about this segment, do you guys want to highlight anything on YouTube Live Chat? <coughs> yes, I do. Yes. I saw a comment talking about how Jay looks like Dwayne I don't Rock know. Johnson. I don't get it. I don't know why. I, and I totally get it. I totally see where you guys are coming from. Well, both of us heard that. Uh, heard that. I mean, we both were confused. Where did that come from? I don't see any resemblance between these two. I mean, I see. I see. Do really? I look like Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Do you smell what the Rock is <laughs> cooking? Because I don't. That is for certain. All right. Anything you want to highlight, Jay? Um. Yes. What is Acceptance it? is key, Sumin. You have to accept that you are a baby. I'm pretty sure that comment was talking about how you accepted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, accepted exactly. It. Lead, right. lead by example. Mm. Sure. All right. Anyway, let us explain what this segment is all about for the listeners. Let's go, Jay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Final pick is the time for a song selection battle between two sentimental artists. Sentimental artists. We'll read some messages sent in by our listeners and recommend some songs to him or her. Then there will be a vote on whose selection was better. Okay. So uh, was it hard for you guys to recommend songs this week? Yeah. Uh, was it hard? Not really, actually, what? for me. I did it in like five minutes. Oh. Yo, you're only going to put in five minutes for this <laughs> big project? Listen, Are you kidding dude, me if right you now? Know, if five you know minutes? the vibe, <laughs> if you know what vibe you got to put out, it comes like that. I put in like five hours, okay? Okay. No way. That means there, there was a pause between <laughs> like four hours and three minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there was a pause, but <laughs> I put in five hours total. Okay. okay. That's okay. Like a good break. break. I just took yeah. a four hour, 50 minute break, but anyways. All right. Anyway, about this segment, we are going to announce uh, the whoever wins tonight's contest at the end of this show. But the sad news is you guys have no voting rights for this segment. But our producer and writer who's listening to the show outside is going to be picking the winner. But okay. the thing is, you guys can still tell us, uh, send your advice for the people who sent in their concerns throughout the entire second half. So feel free to do so on YouTube live chat. And uh, let us move on to the first message. All Let's right. Go. Take it away. OK. <clears throat> the first message comes from. Haram Hantu, Haram Hantu. I am afraid of failure, not because I tend to overthink a lot, but also because I'm a perfectionist too. It may sound cliche, but everything I do is detailed to ensure high expectations. I don't, ex- I don't act impetuously until it's assured, as I'm afraid of its outcome and get judged by people over such. It makes me ponder my methods, abilities, and capabilities, and even contemplate the things that I did. I know it's a stage of human life, and it's not easy on people striving for perfection and excellence in daily life as myself, but I wonder how not to be afraid of failure, or better yet, how to be the best of ourselves. Mm. It's a very uh, introspective concern. How do we overcome being afraid of failure? This is deep. How do you that guys overcome deep. it? It's very easy, in my opinion. Okay. In order to get over failure, yeah. you must embrace failure and acknowledge that failure is necessary to grow. Wow, mm-hmm. we got we got we got this guy from TED Talk over here. Yeah. Yeah. That, was cool. that was awesome, man. That was deep. Yeah, you can call me Ted. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Thank yeah. you. No problem. What about you, Sue? Uh, how do I embrace failure? Uh, I feel like I am not at that stage where I can accept failure mm-hmm. that quickly. Mm-hmm. I feel like it takes time, but I feel like failure itself is a learning process, you know? Because mm-hmm. you can't always win, you know? But you often learn a lot more from taking a loss mm-hmm. in my opinion what's the most recent failure you had to face <laughs> me yeah <laughs> <laughs> um you know uh, everything's been pretty pretty yeah. low lately yeah. but yeah. yeah i mean no i have no <laughs> <laughs> that's a trick question i don't yeah. know <laughs> <laughs> i think like, the best thing with yeah. failure is 
the best way to handle failure is not being afraid of it, especially mm-hmm. because I've noticed in life mm-hmm. the biggest things you regret are the things that you feel that you should have done mm-hmm. and actually didn't do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And whatever you do in your life, uh, the way to overcome a failure is, first off, you have to love whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. keep on going. Anyway, that seems like the only advice I have for, and uh, from Jay and Sum as well. So uh, we now are going to recommend sauce for you, Haram Han, too. Okay. okay. Uh, starting with Jay's recommendation, what did you bring for this one? I picked Gogo Bebe by yeah. Mama Musa Benin. Gogo Ma. Okay. Get it? Gogo Ma. Gogo <laughs> <laughs> Bebe Mama. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. You didn't get it? No, I didn't get Go-go it. Gogo Bebe yeah. from Mama Mu. Gogo Ma. <laughs> <laughs> what? I have absolutely no funny. idea what you're talking about. Did bro. you get it? I didn't know. No, that. right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. All right. What's the reason? Uh, the reason is because of the message of the... It's a song that's very... It's okay to not be mm-hmm. okay. Okay. So I think that fits the message. Okay. Thank you so much. What oh, about you, Sue? Me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I chose Saram by Chiko. And I chose this because it talks about how, like, people are mm-hmm. naturally, you know? And it's okay to make those kind of mistakes and stuff like that. Okay. Because we're all people, you know? And yeah. everyone has their flaws as well as their advantages. Mm-hmm. Anyways, you're doing a great job. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much. With that, we're going to have a listen to these two songs recommended by these two and uh, come back for more. This is Gogo Bebe by Mama Moo, recommended by Jay, and uh, Human Saram by Zico, chosen by Sumi. Good love. Yes. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> 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 all right, anyway, welcome back to all of you guys. I really enjoy the songs that re- that's recommended by these two. But uh, before we move on, we have to name tonight's trophy and the crown. Okay. Well, uh, I need, Any I need suggestions? The, I need the last time, so now it's your turn. Okay, then I think we should name it Super Cool Guy and Amazing Artist, Dominator of the World. Dude, that's, oh, a, that's a little cliche, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then how about... Okay, I'll think about it. I'll think about all it. Right, I'm going to give you the next 10 minutes to think of the name. Anyway, guys, feel free to suggest names for tonight's trophy and the crown, and uh, let us move on to the second message. Oh, you know what? Before we move on, I really wanted to cover this message from Gem. It's uh, Gem here. Rockstar Hat to Juice. Give me Rockstar Heart. Uh, rockstar, rockstar Heart. heart. It's, so you know the Rockstar like, yeah. hand sign? Yeah. So you take... Your thumb and then the middle two fingers, uh-huh. and then you make a heart with that. Oh, yeah, this is the rock star heart. So, is that a thing nowadays? It's a, it's okay. a signature. Okay, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you so much for doing it. And uh, with that, we're gonna move on to the second message. And Sumi, take it away. <coughs> okay, all right, guys, today I will be reading our second message from Ashley Zhang Min. Ashley Zhang Min, dear radio and us, thank you for listening to my story. I am an Asian American who has been living in the U.S. for five years. However, I spent most of my life in Asia, which is where I consider home. While I was in college in the U.S. pursuing my dreams, all my loved ones, my family and friends, were still on the other side of the world. No matter how long you live in a foreign country, you still experience sudden loneliness on a beautiful evening with cozy weather. In a few months, I will be returning to the U.S. to continue my studies. Pursuing my dreams is fulfilling, but leaving everything I love and I'm familiar with is still heartbreaking, no matter how many times I've, s- I've, had s- oh, I've had to say goodbye. I want to know how dear DJs would handle such a situation. Best wishes. What oh. a coincidence. You're because we were actually talking about this yeah. issue during yeah. the song break. Wow. I'm going to leave it up to you, too. Yeah. Well, you asked yeah. the right people. Yeah. You um, asked the right people. Okay. First off, Sumi. Um, honestly... I feel like it's impossible to not feel that way, you know, mm-hmm. because uh, when you're so far from home, no matter how far you are, some days you're just going to feel like that. And that's mm-hmm. I feel like it's normal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you were talking about embracing failure earlier, mm-hmm. but this is something I, I can really relate to. And I feel like this definitely uh, you got to know that it happens, you know, but there are. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty bad at like overcoming this myself, mm-hmm. actually. But I try to. I try to think of the good days that will come when mm-hmm. I do see my mm-hmm. friends and family, 
And that kind of gets me going for that one day. Do you at least have people who you can count on around you? Yeah, that? but I feel like in terms of like missing yeah. home and family, mm-hmm. I feel like those people don't really help, honestly. Yeah, no yeah. matter how close you are, mm-hmm. they're never going to fill that like void, void of family. Yeah, right. And that's not their <coughs> fault. Yeah. It's not your fault. Mm-hmm. It's just... It's just natural. what happens. Yeah. It's the way it is. Okay. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, I remember the first time I came to Korea and nobody... Mm-hmm. And like mm-hmm. the only thing that I could do mm-hmm. to um, kind of deal with that s- sadness was kind mm-hmm. of try to use that energy mm-hmm. in a positive way. Mm-hmm. So, for example, I wrote a song called Sunlight, mm-hmm. which was, even though I was sad mm-hmm. about missing all my fans and mm-hmm. friends and family, I wrote a song about how good they made me feel when they were around. Okay. So kind of just thinking about mm-hmm. the good things and mm-hmm. and looking forward to when the next time is that you can kind of see them. Mm. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're the type of person who would rather focus on the positive side. Mm-hmm. Than, oh, okay. What about you too? You too. Uh, same question to you. Do people around you help? Uh, mm-hmm. People right. around me help distract. And and uh, they're always in a very good, very good, um, very good intention. Like, yeah. like they mm-hmm. really care about mm-hmm. me. I really care about them. But like Suman said, like mm-hmm. there's just all that hole mm-hmm. that can only be filled by the mm-hmm. people that are from home, mm-hmm. where you consider home. So, okay. do you guys think it's gonna ever get used to it, or? I think so. I, I've yeah. definitely, for me, I've definitely yeah. gotten so mm-hmm. much used to it okay. since um, the first time I came. I mean, at least you have your teammates mm-hmm. around you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I haven't felt honestly. I haven't felt homesick in a long time. Oh, okay. Every now and then, I'm like, oh man, I really want to go home right now. But mm-hmm. you know what? I can't. So it's whatever. What's the first thing you want to do if you can't go back to your home right oh. now? There's this pizza place. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, no wonder you guys get along so well. Uh, what about you, Sue? What do you want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, maybe go to the beach with my brothers. Yeah. They're all little babies, but mm-hmm. the last time I went for a bit, mm-hmm. and they were so grown up, and I couldn't right. really interact with them as much as I wanted to. Mm. Okay. It's yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, when, when they grow up so quickly, it's just mm-hmm. like... Yeah, you almost want to call them baby all the time, yeah. even when they're grown. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> guys, you guys are free to express your opinions about this person's concern on YouTube live chat. And uh, while you guys come up with your opinions, we are going to recommend songs for this one. So, uh, Sumin, what did you bring for this one? I brought uh, Sonagi yeah. by IOI. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I listened to this song for the first time mm-hmm. on the show that we're on right now. Well, mm-hmm. the Jay's on right now. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, technically <laughs> you're on it. Yeah, yeah, I mean I am yeah. on it, <laughs> but uh, I I listened to it and it it really touched me. You know this song. I I didn't know there was a song like this. Mm-hmm. It like it literally did this. It mm-hmm. touched me and I was like, huh. And then I listened to the original one recently mm-hmm. while it was raining mm-hmm. and something about it was like, um, I feel like you could really relate to like this family situation because yeah, okay. it's like. Whenever you feel down and low like that, it mm-hmm. will pass like a, okay. a shower, a oh. downpour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So who performed the original one? The original IOI. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, okay, moving on to you, Sir J. What did you bring? I brought Violet by Pentagon Sunmin. Mm. And um, the reason is, um, I remember when I first, like around the, the Shigi, mm-hmm. when I first came to Korea, mm-hmm. um, and this was one of my favorite songs to listen to whenever mm-hmm. I was feeling down. Mm-hmm. And help me. It really helped me process those emotions. Okay. <laughs> you know, it has nothing to do with the message. But what kind of songs do you guys listen to if you guys are ever feeling a little under the weather? If I'm feeling under the weather, yeah. I like to listen to sad stuff. Mm. I like to pro- get those emotions going, processed, and flushed okay. out. Yeah. Wow. It actually helps me the most with like writing songs. Is facing the yeah. sadness then? Yeah. Okay. Facing what about you? Like so? There's one song I always listen to when I'm down. It's okay. called "Mom, I'm Famous." By B- by a guy named Gareth T. Okay. And man, this song, wow, it's awesome. You gotta listen to What's it. What's it about? It was, yeah, <laughs> about how he became famous. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, so it, you're sad. It, it you sounds to... super hype, okay, but it's super sad. Oh, really? It's super sad. It's just piano and his vocals. Okay. And a couple, like couple chorus slash ad libs. Sounds like one of those old pops from oh, way back, but it's it so good. It's just like I can't explain it. It just sounds. It, it just. Feels like a demo, yeah. 
but it's not a demo kind of thing. Okay, wow. Now I'm curious. I think I'm going to have to listen to that one during the next song break. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyone get, uh, everyone get those opinions in about this previous message. We are going to cover as many as possible after this song break, starting with Sonagi Downpour by IOI, chosen by Sumin, followed by uh, Violet by Pentagon, chosen by J. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that was Sonagi Downpour by IOI, followed by Violet by Pentagon. And uh, about the previous message, a listener goes by the name of Queen Jelly has an advice Queen for that one. Uh, it's important to think that you're living abroad to chase your dream. Also, it will bring a wonderful future. That's how I'm handling my homesickness when I'm abroad. Cheers to both of us. Yay! Woo. Thank you so much. And Thank I'm you, seeing Jelly. a couple more, but... um. I'm going to correct them later. Anyway, before I move along, guys, not guys, but did you think of the name of the trophy okay, here? Okay, yeah. You know, I I think we'll be simple. Mm -hmm. And we'll call it the greatest... Greatest adult award. Okay. The greatest, the greatest adult, adult award. award. Yeah. Since he was called a baby yesterday, yes, so yeah, so no it will be the greatest adult award award. No, um, okay. <laughs> Among the two of us, somebody <laughs> will be the greatest adult <laughs> award. The greatest okay. adult award. Okay, okay. All right, anyway, um, <laughs> even though Sumin may not be the best person at naming trophies, he's actually <laughs> a really great person when recommending songs for us. I was really yes. touched while listening to his song recommendation mm. before this song break we had. It was by the artist named, uh, what was his name again? Gareth, Gareth T. Yeah, and I fell in love with this track as soon as I heard it. What was the name of the track again? I forgot. Mom, I'm Mom, Famous. Mom, I'm Famous. Yeah, so, uh, you know what, can I ask you to say? A line from that song, if okay. you can. Let me let me think of the lyrics though. Okay. Uh, ta, ta, ta. <coughs> Wait. Oh. Help me. The reverb is in. Yeah. Ta, time after time, you build me up when I'm drowning. Time after time. I'm sorry, I don't know the lyrics, but it's wow. time after time something. <laughs> okay. Thank you Wait, so time after much. Time <laughs> Wait, you got the lyric? You want to yeah. okay. go? All right, one more time, one right. more time. Yeah. <coughs> okay, I got it. Time after time, yeah. you pick me up mm -hmm. when I'm drowning. I think that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Time after time, you pick me up when I'm drowning. Time after time, but you will never give up on me. Even in times when I gave up on myself. Woohoo! That was wonderful. Thank mm. you so much for gracing us with your beautiful voice. That's Sumi. a sad song. Yeah. All right, anyway, um, thank you so much. Well, cheer up. I don't know why, but I'm feeling quite emotional today in the studio. Are you Am I the only one? Sentimental? Yeah. Yes, I am. Me too. What about you? You seem I'm like the only person who's not feeling sentimental right now. Oh, I'm feeling sentimental. <laughs> I'm feeling super... No, f I don't know why. We're getting uh, down and dirty in the sentiment. Yeah. Right. Anyway, you know what? Let us uh, bring up the mood up and uh, move on to the third message sent in by Jem. It's Jem here. Oh. hey ya, Jemima here. My greatest concern these days is about dating. L-O-L. -L. I'm 24 and I've never dated anyone. Fangirl life. Plus, I don't really go out to go out of the house. Also, when I'm hanging out with guys, I usually I'm usually boyish. What should be my first step to start dating or tips? Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you. Love, Jemima. Hmm. You're asking the wrong people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever dated anyone in your life? I mean, in my um, life, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know. I think one stigma about, like, mm. boyish girls mm -hmm. is that they think it's not cool. Yeah. yeah. Which, in a way, I feel mm. like 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 guys having some sort of feminine side and mm. girls having some sort mm. of masculine side is actually very like respectable trait yeah, yeah. i think so too mm -hmm. i don't you know what let's make it simple uh than this not dating but if you guys were to make new friends with a total stranger how would you guys act to that person Oof. or behave uh probably very shy Oh, okay. I'm very reserved when it comes to meeting people for the first time. Okay. Because I'm very unhinged when I know people. Uh -huh. mm. So it's like, do I show this person like my demon, or should <laughs> do I do I just like be a outstanding part of society and okay. be like, hi? Mm -hmm. But like, if I'm meeting someone for the first time, I don't know. How, how did? 
No. When I met you for the first time, it was wasn't that crazy. You showed me the demon, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened there? <laughs> yeah. He wasn't that shy. I yeah. felt I wasn't shy with him because I already knew he was someone I didn't need to be shy around mm. because of the whole bag over the head incident. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, sir? Um, I think I'm pretty, like, if it's somebody I want to be close to, mm. I'm super, uh, what do you call it? Chokuk chok? Positive? Uh, like, active. Like, I'm yeah. not nervous mm. or shy. I'm like, I really want to get to know them as oh. a person, you know? Yeah, that's how that's how I usually make friends. If I really wanna, mm-hmm. like, if I can you elaborate? Like, if if they match my vibe, yeah. and I'm like, oh, you sound around my teenage with stuff. So you ask them out casually. And Wait, are we talking about girls or not women? girls, but friendship wise? Oh yeah, yeah. friendship wise, that's yeah. what I do. I'd be like, mm-hmm. hey, I really like your vibe, and then talk, and then mm-hmm. talk, and I'm super excited, like, ooh, yeah, not to, not to. yeah, no, that makes sense. Well, Jem, oh. hope you're listening right now because this is the most important thing. There are certain phases to get into the final step, what we call a love relationship. First off, you have to build up a proper friendship between you and the other person, and the the advice they just gave to you are the most important things. And uh, you know what, guys? Any additional advice? No? Be yourself. Just be yourself. Because no one's going to fall in love Mm. with a fake person. Ah, true. But sometimes they do, I think. They do, but but they're not... At the end of the day, they're not falling in love with Mm. that person. They're falling in love with a mask. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's deep, bro. You know what? Um, Me, to give you you a hint, Jem, when I first met my... um, the person I'm dating right now, um, I the first thing I told her was, I really want to hang out with your first self, so can I ask you out this evening? And uh, that's the kind of person I am. I try to be as honest as possible. And the next thing I said to her was, I really want to get married to you. <laughs> the next, that was the next thing you said? <laughs> that was the so next thing I said, said hey, can I ask you out? And then yeah. she said yes, and you're like, no, Actually, that's after having a, having, a, having oh, a certain man. period of conversation. <laughs> I came to that conclusion. I mean, once you reach a certain age, you know if it, this person is the kind of person you want to spend the rest of your life with or not. And I was like, I was so sure this is the person I really want to be with. And I just told her, and she gave me this weird look, what kind of person are you saying this kind of thing? And and it's our first date. And I'm like, why not? I mean, I'm feeling this way. Hope you're, hope the feeling is mutual. And um. Look at the result. We're still dating wow. after all those years. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dang, that's wow. <clears throat> you know what? This is the kind of thing I really want you guys to do in the future. If you guys ever find a person that you really feel like you're gonna fall in love with, yeah. My name's Suman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You wanna get married? <laughs> 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 My name's Suman. You wanna get married? <laughs> That's right. that was a legendary. Mm. Well, anyway, thank you so much, Jim. Uh, feels like we weren't really able to give you a proper advice. <laughs> <laughs> with your concern. Yes, the answer to yeah. your fresh start dating tips, guys, um, guys, guys, guys. What's the final verdict? Propose. Propose. Yeah, you know what? Who cares if you're big boys? Just go up to and be like, "Hey, you want to get married?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what should be my first step to start dating? First, ask if they want to hang out sometime. If the answer is yes, then yeah. you proceed to ask if they want to get married. Mm. There you go. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, another comment from uh, Stacy One. Uh, she says, "My parents knew only knew each other for 17 days and got married. They knew Sometimes? eight years together. Hey, how long Sometimes have we known each other? <laughs> We've known each other for about four months. Wow, that's a long <laughs> overdue. We're right on pace, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Free um, love. oh, I totally forgot. There was this comment uh, specifically asking Jay uh, about something, but I forgot the comment. You know what? That. What? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I had it in my head up until like three seconds ago, but I forgot all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, guys, uh, tune back in on next Wednesday's show and ask him the same question again if you guys did not get your answer for your question. And uh, you know what? With that, shall we announce the winner for wow. tonight's Come on. Tonight's okay. Final Come thing. on. <clears throat> Let's go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> all right. So the. Uh, Greatest Adult Award? The Greatest Adult Award goes to... Sue! Yes! Yes! Make a speech. Wow, you're taking a long time, man. (laughs) Thank you, everyone. I have been finally announced the victor in this battle. I would like to thank my Chongjie Jerry today Mm -hmm. for being... Almost there, almost there, not yet, but you weren't the full grown adult. (laughs) Thank you. Congratulations. 
All right, we're going to take a picture of you wearing that crown and holding that trophy after this show is over. But before we wrap up, we have an important announcement to make, right, Jay? Your yes. Your final is coming up real soon. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, so about that. man. That's yes. awesome, bro. So, um, <laughs> as you know, the Build Up final is yeah. coming up uh, in two days. Mm -hmm. And I would like to ask everyone mm -hmm. if they could, if they have, if you have some spare time, mm -hmm. make sure to vote for Hoon mm -hmm. JP. Mm -hmm. And we will show you an amazing stage. Thank you so much. Yay! So um, why don't we promise your fans, if you're going to win that competition, then uh, what would you do? Maybe like a uh, winning Gongya? If we yeah. win yeah. the final, then I will make sure to do my absolute best okay. to become mm -hmm. the greatest adult. Wow. Okay. You're going to take this from me, man? You're going to take this too? <laughs> I have to grow up too soon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway, thank you so much to both of you for coming through the studio for Final Pick tonight. And thank you so yes. much to all of the fans who's been watching the entire show. All right, with that, since uh, Sumin won tonight's contest, we're going to play one of Sumin's songs and call it a day. This is a song about you. This was your DJ Samuel Hall, along with Jay and Sumin. Uh, shall we say goodbye together? In three, two, one. Greatest of all. Greatest of all. Cheeseburger pocket. Bye. <laughs>